Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you again to all the witnesses for being here. I'd like to uh, open my question reading a uh, quotation from Freddie Mac, the U.S. Uh, mortgage uh, backer. Um, and I quote them here. The e this is relating to harm to coastal housing and property markets. Quote, the economic losses and social disruption may happen gradually, but they are likely to be greater in total than those experienced in the housing crisis and Great Recession. Now, those of us who are from coastal states take warnings like that from our federal mortgage providers pretty damn seriously, as I think you would expect that we should. Could you tell me, Ms. Vera, what is the relationship between carbon dioxide emissions and sea level rise? In, in terms of... Um, cause and effect. Cause and effect. Um, I know that there are um, changes that are occurring in our environment currently that um, people are studying, and I am not an expert in that area, so I would have to defer to the um, studies uh, that others are doing in that area. Mr. Altieri, can you do any better than that? No, I'm not certain of the direct relationship between the CO2 emissions and uh, sea level rise. All righty. Well, you got a coast, Commissioner Baker. Maybe yes, you sir. can do better. What do you know about this correlation? Uh, in certain areas, I think it, it, there is a direct correlation. Um, I would say in Texas, our Why base, do you mean, what, what, what do you mean in certain areas? Uh, so, for example, in Texas, the relative sea level rise that we're experiencing comes from really man-made things like subsidence, uh, man-made structures that extend into the Gulf of Mexico, causing I guess my question accretion. is, what is the role of carbon dioxide emissions in contributing to that sea level rise? Um, if any, what is your understanding of that? In Texas, I, I don't know what the, I don't know what the uh, science says specifically about that in, regarding our coastline. How about generally, if not specifically? What is uh, the science generally on the correlation between carbon dioxide emissions and sea level rise? I, I think I answered that it's correlated. Okay, there we go to start. Mr. Rodriguez, California's coastal. Um, I, I, I'll just say I work with scientists all the time, and uh, it's sometimes hard to get them to agree on certainty um, on anything. But uh, in this particular area, uh, the overwhelming consensus, and I have no doubt that there's a direct correlation between CO2 emissions and changes in the weather, including uh, sea level rise. And you have coastal communities that are actually having to plan for that, correct? Absolutely. We just agreed to a new set of uh, guidelines for a development along our coast just recently at our Ocean Protection Council. We're preparing for sea level rise. We're already seeing it along our coasts. Mr. Garvin, you're like, uh, you're like me. You're coastal and you are downwind. Uh, your friend, uh, Mr. Rodriguez, is downwind of China. <laughs> We're downwind of the coal plants in West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, uh, and so forth, and for a long time we have been on the receiving end of their pollution and don't much appreciate the high smokestacks that have been built to make sure that that pollution goes out of their states and lands on ours. So take, uh, take a stab at what sea level rise means for Delaware and whether it connects to the carbon emissions from uh, these plants. So I want to touch on two things, and, and I completely agree with my colleague from, from California. Uh, but when we look at this issue in Delaware, our two largest um, economic generators are tourism and agriculture. Uh, when you talk about climate change, um, it, part of it's sea level rise issues, part of it is, is uh, creating uh, more frequency of storms and more severe storms and um, higher droughts and, and um, uh, more flooding across the board, and they have direct impacts on our two uh, largest economic engines in, in the state of Delaware. And we're seeing those impacts, particularly along our coastline um, What do now coastal and communities have in Delaware have to start doing now, given the sea level rise that is anticipated as a result of climate change and carbon emissions? So there's three things going on right now. One is we continue uh, to work on uh, renourishment of our coastline to 
uh, to try to protect our coastline as, as much as possible. Our local communities are looking at um, land use decisions and existing structures on how uh, they need to raise and, and uh, address uh, any new construction. And currently, well, as treatment plants, ports, we, harbors, all those things we, need uh, to be reconsidered. The, our wastewater treatment plants, our, our power plants. In addition, as we speak, our, our Department of Transportation is raising Route 1, which connects our coastline along the Atlantic coast um, by several inches to uh, try to not, not to address the big storms, just to address the, the, uh, the regular storms and, and the impacts that we're having on transportation, which also becomes a public safety issue for our, our, our uh, communities along the coast. Thank you, Chairman. My time has expired. I appreciate that.